Hello everybody, it's Duty Paid and today we're going to take a look at the old uh, laptop to desktop. Now I've been making a bit of progress with this. Mainly I have removed the old um, 2.5 IDE drive, hard drive, mechanical drive and replaced it with a solid state um, converter. This runs from a uh, SD card, a 32 gig SD card via the uh, IDE interface. This is actually a 90 degree connector onto there. It's a little bit of a weird setup. And uh, had to reinstall Windows because I tried copying the hard drive image over and it wasn't happening. It wasn't liking it. Um, I've added a heat sink to the, uh, uh, I believe, a GPU chip there just to uh, spread out a bit of heat. And that is loose. I will have to get some sort of sticky compound on and I've taken off the uh, make sure all this is in camera taken off the old CPU cooler that I was using here you can see where I had to uh, hammer down the uh, fins for clearance on the capacitors now what I've got is a Alpine 11 Pro um, CPU cooler that would be the right description of that yes so hopefully that will uh, clear now I've not tried this yet so I will need to remove the screws here so these feet definitely are too long but they do mount this on so I'm gonna have to work out some form of bridge um, to keep the uh, fan on but I think what I do is I change around the camera position so you're looking over my shoulder which might might make life a little easier for you so a uh, bit of a jump cut and we get back into it <laughs> Well, that was a good bit of news, wasn't it? That fits and avoids the uh, capacitors on the right because this is a solid lump of metal and I wouldn't really know how to do. And another good thing is the there is a cage underneath that the standoffs no way would have mounted. And I thought this held the fan on and technically it does. But luckily the fan has these little clips around the side. So once the... Uh, cooler is mounted the f that will actually click into place and will not move which is a useful useful bit indeed now what I need to do is drill some holes for this so let's pop this off quick don't worry about the uh, thermal paste we will, will clean and refresh that now I measured the screws here and I made up a little template which I 3D printed. So uh, that will be ideal. So you can see that lines up with the screw holes, I do believe. I have checked that previously. So let's just move this back here and I'll show you how I'll use this. So I'll take the uh, cooler and double check the orientation because I've already forgot which way round that goes hopefully it doesn't go that way uh, hopefully it goes this way does it go this way? Or does it go the other way? so that's like that and uh, see that in picture so that's misses the capacitors And then over. Ah. Things are never easy, are they? I was hoping it would go like that. But if it went like that, it would go this way round. And then. Let's hit the cap. Hmm. 
doesn't hit the caps, but you can see it's rather close there. Hmm. Oh, it never rains, but it pours, does it? So, questions. Okay, so now I've marked and then uh, centre punched the uh, hole there as a guide. I now have these uh, drill bits, which is a uh, Dewatt Extreme 2.5 millimeter. Now these will be threaded to um, three mil. But if you check a thread in the chart, then you need to do a 2.5 millimeter hole for three mil tap. If you ever drill a three mil hole for a three mil tap, it will just uh, fall down into it. So I have these ones. I've not used this type before. Um, should be fairly good. I have my little uh, drill with me. Now this is only aluminium. So uh, if it was steel, it might be a bit tricky. So we want that secure. So So with the whole one hour drilled and the uh, bits of uh, aluminium out of the way, we have a hole here and we have a uh, three point M3 tap. 0.05 onto a T-bar handle. Now, getting these started um, straight up is the challenge. So, hopefully I can use this holder to make sure my uh, tap starts perpendicular to the hole. So we will check that with a screw quickly. Uh. So now we have all four holes um, drilled and tapped. We will now stick it on a motherboard to see if it all lines up, which means I've got to lift everything off the motherboard first. Okay, we're nearly at the end of this before testing and so forth. I've now got this attached. I sort of uh, see down here. I ran the screws up from the underside of the board. I was going to take the whole motherboard off. But what I did was drill some holes large enough to allow the uh, screw heads to pass through and then up into the CPU. Hopefully it's not all uh, crushed to death. I've been uh, adding the screws very gently. I believe these can take a uh, quite a bit of squishing before all hell breaks loose. But you never know as it's not made for us. But at least it's a CPU and it doesn't fall off now. So. In future, I can move the machine around, and uh, not all much should be happening. So, stick the fan back on, wire it up, and then suck it and see whether it makes any difference or it all uh, goes into meltdown. So, with the fan now attached and everything working, I'm getting a very respectable temperature of around about 11 to 12 centigrade. This is not under load, just under normal desktop with it only raising to a maximum of 20 even on a uh, sort of demanding game. So well worth upgrade from the stock laptop cooler that was uh, broken to begin with. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, so we've done the CPU cooler and we've done the... Uh, I was going to do a video on the um, hard drive but it's simple as uh, taking out one and putting one in and installing Windows so, not really that fascinating. Hopefully, uh, this will come out okay. So, until next time, I'm the duty paid. And we will get on putting a case around this, I think. I'm the duty paid. Take care. Stay safe.